Today we will be looking at how to chat with documents using Ooga Booga. Well, chat with the text within the documents to be precise. First copy the path to where it is installed and open a prompt and CD to the path. We will be using an extension called Super Booga. I made a code change and changes to the requirements to install it, so we need to do a git pull in this directory to get the latest code from my forked repository. I was planning on trying to write chat with documents functionality for Ooga Booga, but I found during my research that there is already a built-in extension that does that. Let's get started. First, go into the Extensions tab. Here there is a Super Ooga Booga and a Super Ooga Booga version 2. They both should work the same. For this video, I will install version 2. Go into the folder and copy this path and CD to it from an anaconda prompt. By the way, I forgot to mention this video assumes you already have Ooga Booga installed from my forked repository. I'll leave a link to the video. Anyways, next let's activate the Ooga Booga Conda environment. Then we will install the requirements for the extension by running pip install r requirements from within this extension folder. Once that finishes, we will need to specify the extension name in the run command, so I will just copy the folder name of this extension. Then let's go back to the root folder of the Ooga Booga application and edit the run.batch file. Here, after the auto launch, we will add dash dash extensions and then the name of the extension folder, which I have copied, so I will just paste that here. Save and exit, then double click the run.batch to launch Ooga Booga with that extension active. Now, I couldn't find any documentation for this thing, so it took hours of googling and trial and error. Eventually, I stumbled across this GitHub issue which details this extension from when it was first created. Llama Dash Precise is what they used for the preset, so let me do the same. Go to the Parameters tab and select Llama Dash Precise from the drop-down. There are a whole bunch of other settings here. I just left them all default. With the exception of the seed, they used a seed of 1, so I will change that to 1. With that done, I'll go ahead and save this, so hopefully it should keep the changes next time. They used this quantized model. I tried that one earlier. It is very large, over 20 GB, and it took a while to respond. So instead, I will just use the Zephyr model we downloaded in the previous video for this example. You can use either the Default or Notebook tab. For this video, I will use the Notebook tab. Scroll down and click on Settings to change the chunk size to 700 to match what they used, I believe. Scroll to the top, and for the prompt drop-down, select Alpaca with Input. For my input text I want to chat with, I will use this game recap page for the game Between the Spurs and Clippers, where the Spurs lost by 40 points. I'm going to copy all of this text. You will need to do the same for your text or PDF document. First, for the instruction, I'm just going to tell it that it is an NBA analyst. Then we will add another entry under it with three pound symbols, data, and under that, paste the text we want to chat with. This input is where we can ask it questions. I'm going to ask it how many points Wembanyama had. He had 11 points. Let's see what it says. This orange outline around the text box means it is processing. It was able to answer that one correctly. Next, I will ask it how many points the Spurs lost by. Actually, let's first ask it who won the game. It is correct. It also tells us the score, so it will know how many points they lost by. Next, Let's ask it how tall Wembanyama is. According to this article, he is 7'3". Notice how it keeps appending the answers to the response. I don't know how to fix that, so it doesn't keep appending the text. I'm just going to delete it before asking the next question, so it looks neater. It got that one correct, too. Finally, let's ask it who the Spurs play next. That is correct. 
Well, this is how I use this extension based on the example from that GitHub pull request. If you have a document with text, you would need to copy paste the text into the data section in this box. Here, there is a file input box where you can upload your documents, but I was not able to get it to work. It would not recognize the document's content in its answers. Let me know if you are able to figure out how to make that work. It is basically going trial and error, I think. I may also look into the source code and see what it is doing with the file input box. I also still need to read through all of the posts on this GitHub pull request. Maybe there is more detail here or somewhere else on what needs to be changed and where in order to make that file input box work. By the way, why do I yell all the time? I have no idea. Anyways, I will continue looking into seeing if I can figure out that file input box. That is all for now. Enjoy.